All right, we're rolling out. First plow of the season. All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. We are out for a salting event here. It's uh, January 13th now. It's supposed to get some snow, but it all turned to, didn't accumulate to anything. It ended up being mostly rain or sleet and turned to ice on our untreated roads and stuff, which we've had a lot of rain. So anything we might have put down is already washed off, but we're out here, it's about 4.30 a.m. I know Randy Haskell, he's probably still asleep. Probably won't be up for another at least four or five hours. He doesn't get up until about nine o'clock. So he's missing out on all the fun out here. But we're heading out with our Salt Dog Pro 3000. Kind of fine tuning that thing in, making sure all the adjusters are, all the adjustment flaps are good and dialing in the numbers, seeing what it needs to be at for it to function properly. So. All right, let's get some action. As you can see, maybe, a little icy. Somebody drove through here. But, I'm sliding around out here. Just a little bit of ice. No, nothing else other than ice. No snow. But. Oh, yeah, that was a pretty freaking cool shot, I think. Got a guy coming. Salt the walks. Those are icy too. But that's not my problem. That's it. Ryan. Backing down into a dock right now. Man, I'm surprised how freaking icy it is out here. Sometimes I have no control of the truck at all in a parking lot. I didn't think it was that bad. Apparently I was wrong. Look at that. I'm trying to turn to the left and I'm just driving straight on this. I had to make a quick pit stop here at the gas station and I uh, got myself a, a Timmy. There you go, Tim Hortons right there, yep. I had to stop here and get some uh, window wash. I scraped my windows down, I couldn't see a damn thing. That's why I stress uh, washing vehicles after taking them out for snow plowing events. I mean, I don't know if all you can see the hood. The hood's freaking white and this truck's blue. So much salt that's been picked up. So I had to stop and get my windows and mirrors clean because I could not see anything out of it. Let's give you a little view of what I see out the window.
Randy's Randy Bull Bandy. He's over there somewhere. Right right over there. Salt in the walks. Salt it up. A little slippery, it's gotta work though. That's kind of the point of the salt. No, let's just let it run its course. That's why we're out here at six o'clock. People don't show up till eight, two hours to work. Good to go. Alright, end of the shift here. Let me turn this light on. Got a set of rear lights on a upfitter switch, that's better. Just emptying out the hopper now, back in the bin. Three yarder, I went through almost uh, probably two and a half or more. Let's get inside and see. It does have a tarp for it. We took it off today though, because it's kind of snowing. Oh, yeah, there's quite a bit of salt left in there. I went through over half a hopper. So, I'm going to crank this up a little bit. It's moving too slow. There's a dumb feature. Just pull this pin and I can swing it open and dump it. But I like to try to get it up on the pile the best I can inside our little enclosure here. You can also fill like five gallon buckets or walk behind salt spreaders out of this too, which is pretty cool. Roll the spreader up, flip it around, have it all just all go out here. improvements from the last one they had. It's pretty loud out there. You marry me. Hmm. A lot of good improvements from what they had before at the SHPE, I believe it's called. That series of spreaders is the Pro Series. Bigger augers, stronger parts, stuff that we thought was a little underpowered for those other salters. A lot better now than what it was before. Um, higher horsepower motors. You know, bigger a bigger auger means slower spinning, which means less wear and tear. The less that you know, we had a two-inch auger; it used to spin 100 miles an hour. This one creeps along, and you get the same flow, which is good. It's a pretty even flow. I mean, it's a it's a, it's a big hopper. It's not, in my opinion, it wasn't worth spending extra money for another hopper, or you know, a different hopper, a name brand like the Boss. I looked at the Boss one; it was two grand more. It's a big piece of plastic, and they were the specs were literally the same, same size motors, same size, same material on the walls, double panel, whatever. It wasn't, it, in my opinion, it wasn't worth it. So you know, with the buyers, and uh, so far so good. I like this. This controller seems pretty good with the vibrator and the spinner, and all that. They said only to use vibrate if you have to, but it seems like I always have to, or at least a good chunk of it. I mean, right now I'm not moving, so. It's probably, it needs to vibrate. If I was moving the truck, it'd be shaking more and stuff would be falling into the into the cone where the auger could take it and push out the back. But overall, pretty good. I'm happy with it. Hope you guys like the video. Let me know what you want more. Hopefully we can get some more plowing videos this year. But I mean, right now it's getting towards the middle of January and I think we've only been out twice. And I just got these GoPros, so 
Now I can start to film more and have better quality videos for you. So thanks for sticking around. Thanks for watching. Remember to hit that subscribe button. It doesn't cost you anything. It's a free button. It makes me know you like what I'm putting out. So, all right. Thanks, and we'll see you in the next one. Very important part of the job. A little bit goes a long way. I like to rinse all the salt off the truck. Not because I care about the salt destroying the vehicle, but I do. But you can't see anything. It's the bigger problem. If you're gonna, I mean, if you're gonna drive the truck out in the plowing conditions, at least rinse the thing off when you're done. At least the cab and the windows and the lights and stuff, because that's salt. I mean, our vehicles are undercoated, so the underneath of them isn't not the end of the world. But I'm gonna rinse off the old truck. I clean the windows so you can see for next time. Look at the back of the cab, a mess. Beacon light, headlights, backup lights. That takes a couple minutes. Sucks when it's cold out. Right now it's somewhat warm. I'm getting inside the wheel wells, getting all the shit off there. All this. If it's really cold out, I won't do it outside. I'll do it inside. Make sure that the, uh, the door jams and stuff don't freeze. Take care of your equipment. Oh man, I was kinked. Clean the mirrors. Cleaning all this stuff off yet. Bed. I'm not asking you to scrub the thing, I'm asking you just to just to rinse everything off. Easy piece. Well, it's the same day that I was out salting this morning, but I uh, I plan on filming more of this, putting it back together. But I just I kept I kept saying I was gonna leave earlier today, and I was gonna uh, I was just gonna bolt the manifold onto the block, or man, bolt the manifold on the head, put the turbo on it, and uh, well, I'll need to say that was about four hours ago. So I ended up putting the whole thing back together. But new hardware to cut those bolts off, break all those lines loose, put everything back together, tighten everything up, purge a coolant out of this opening here. I changed the fuel filter, but I never bleeded the fuel system down, so took care of that. And I left the key on, and the battery died. So just needs an oil change now. I'm gonna go through this exhaust again, make sure everything's all set there. I think it is. But in the meantime. If you watched yesterday's, not yesterday's video, but this is my work from yesterday at least. Um, this is dry now. Got these fenders all done for now. What I'm gonna do now is uh, scrub the frame, clean up all the rust in the frame, paint the frame, touch up, paint it, scrub the whole frame with a, my uh, drill with a brush. This is gonna be, and I wanna see what it looks like. Cleaned up. And then probably uh, do some touch-up paint. And then I want to get it undercoated. I uh, rinsed off the frame earlier. It came a lot cleaner. So hopefully if I scrub it, it'll be good to go.